And welcome everybody, Dustin Harris hanging out with you once again. Another quick mini-sode for you. Just got out of a great staff meeting, and I do mean great. I started doing something a little different lately with my staff meetings that I can't wait to share with you. First, I want to remind you that we are sponsored by ANAL Software. Folks, if you are interested in making sure that your appraisal business is handled and handled correctly uh, and efficiently, you want to check out ANOW. You can go to ANOW.com. It's A-N-O-W.com slash coach uh, and, and find out why the appraiser coach uses ANOW software for his uh, management software. ANOW.com slash coach. Folks, I just got out of a great staff meeting as I mentioned earlier. Uh, I couldn't wait to share with you just a, just, you know, this is a small thing. Uh, this is going to be a very quick mini-sode, but I'll tell you, this is, uh, it's changed the way that we do staff meetings. Um, let me just set this up by telling you how our staff meetings used to look. And by the way, if you're not doing staff meetings, you need to be, um, even if you only have one other employee, I don't care if that employee is your spouse, okay? And, and I mean that. If, you're, if your employee is your spouse, you still need to be having staff meetings. Why? Because as a business owner, you are a business owner first and an appraiser second. And if you look at it that way and make sure that whatever you do in your business is all about how to continue to sustain your business, you're going to see the benefit in holding staff meetings. Now, by the way, I am not a big fan of meetings. I grew up in a church that loves meetings, okay? And I've spent hours upon hours upon hours upon hours. You get the point? Did I mention hours? In meetings. And I'm telling you, there's a place for meetings and then there's a place for overkill and there's a lot of that out there in the business world, in the religious world, in the world in general, okay? I'm not a big fan of meetings just for meeting's sake. I'm a big fan of efficiencies, and I'm a big fan of sitting down periodically. When I say periodically, at least a couple of times a month, if not once a week, sitting down with your staff and saying, okay, here's what's going on. Here's the problems that I see. Here's what we need to improve, and then talking back and forth with your uh, with your various contractors and your employees, even again, even if it's a family owned business, so important that you separate those two. I don't know if I mentioned this to you um, in the past, but I have my daughter currently working for me. She's off track at school uh, and she's worked for me in the past. And so she's working for me for a few months. And, you know, I tell her when she's at work, uh, her name is, is uh, what her name is and it's not daughter and I am not dad. I am Dustin and I am her boss and we treat it that way. And when she gets home from work, uh, I often say, even though I may have been at work, I say, how was work? And I talk to her as a dad when she's home, but as a boss when we're at work. And I think that's important to separate those two because psychologically it allows you, I think, to be more efficient too, and to just do things the way that businesses should be run. Okay. Kind of a side note, kind of a tangent there. Um, but it does relate because I think sometimes I talk to appraisers and they say, well, Dustin, that's fine and dandy for you because you've got, you know, multiple employees and multiple contractors and I can see the purpose of holding a staff meeting. Folks, I'm telling you, again, I'm going to stress this. Even if it's just you and your staff and your, and your spouse, have a periodic staff meeting. Call it a staff meeting. Treat it like a staff meeting. Now, it might be over dinner. You might get a write-off, you know, because you're, uh, you're at, uh, at Outback Steakhouse, whatever. But have a meeting and actually treat it like a business meeting. Okay, here's what was happening in the past. Our staff meetings were often scheduled um, on a pretty regular basis, uh, and sometimes they happen, sometimes they don't. Okay, I'm not a real stickler on that, and I know I should be, but the bottom line is, is my Mondays are crazy. Uh, I've, I've often talked to you about the fact that I don't work on Mondays, that I work on my business. Part of working on my business is my staff meetings, but I also have podcasts. I mean, today's a Monday, okay? I'm, I'm recording this on a Monday, and it's hard to fit everything in, okay? So I, I make sure that I have a staff meeting on a periodic basis. Uh, I schedule it once a week. It doesn't always happen once a week, but we hold it often enough that I think that we're doing okay. We also touch bases with each other between staff meetings quite a bit so that we keep things running efficiently and effectively. Okay. Here's what the staff meetings used to look like. Um, we'd sit down, I would have something to say, or I'd have a list of things to say, and typically this list 
is made up during the week. Um, it's also made up while I'm working on my business Monday mornings, you know, things that I've noticed, things that can be improved, uh, things that I think that we could do a little bit better discussions we need to have feedback that I need as, as a boss, you know, how's this working? How's this going? You know, I, I told you last week about this, how's that project uh, moving along those kind of things. Okay. And we would go and, and, and we would go, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. And then at the end, I always go what I call round robin. And round robin is, um, okay, Janet, what do you have? Um, okay, Jess, what do you have? Okay, Corinne, what do you have? Okay, Jay, what do you have? And I'll tell you, time after time after time, super inefficient. Because what happens is we have these meetings, everybody sits down, they're ready to get everything from the boss, but they're not necessarily ready to contribute. Uh, so we go around robin and I say, Jana, what do you have? Nothing. Okay, Jess, what do you got? No, I don't have anything either. Uh, Corinne, what do you got? Mm, I think we covered it all. Jay, got anything? Huh? Are we having a meeting? No, I'm just kidding. She doesn't say that most of the time. Um, the point is, is we weren't getting anything from anybody else. This was, this was the big boss talking down to everybody else. Totally inefficient as far as a, a staff meeting goes. So I implemented something a couple of weeks ago that is honestly working very, very well. I can't wait to tell you about it. First, I want to tell you about another thing that's working very, very well. Again, I just got out of a, a staff meeting uh, just a few minutes ago, and, uh, and we talked about a now software. Uh, we talked about the flow of work and, and, um, and the notes section of the ANOW software. I'll tell you, to me, that's one of the best features of ANOW. Uh, I have various people that work in my office. What happens if somebody's working in the afternoon versus somebody that's working in the evening? Uh, or the or the uh, or the morning versus the afternoon. What if something happens in the morning that the somebody in the afternoon would need to know? Notes. I love the fact that A Now software allows you to put notes in the system on any order at any time. Okay, and so I would uh, highly encourage that you check out A Now software. It makes things so much easier, folks. It is not a cost. When you look at the cost of A Now, holy cow! Don't even use that word. It is an investment. It's an investment in you, in your business, and I don't care if you're a one-man show. ANOW software and the analytics and everything it can do is incredible. Check them out, anow.com, A-N-O-W.com slash coach for more information. All right, folks, we are back. We're talking today about staff meetings, and in particular, I just want to give you a helpful tip, something that I started doing recently. So to, again, to set this up, we went around the robin, we went round and round uh, in our staff meetings. And basically it was m usually me having a list of, I don't know, five to 10 items that I wanted to see improved or that I, you know, liked that was happening and different things. Then we would go around to each person in the staff meeting and say, you know, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? And typically the answer was the same. It was nothing. Uh, everything's great. Um, we already covered it. What have you started implementing something just recently that I would highly encourage that you all implement. First of all, if you're not doing staff meetings, start with that implementation right? Start with having staff meetings. I think you will find that they're very effective uh, and they really do help with the efficiencies around the office. So start there. But if you are having staff meetings and they're not going anywhere uh, and they're not doing uh, what you want them to do, I would highly encourage you to take the next step. And that is, uh, I would ask each member of your team to come to every staff meeting with two things. Number one, something that they want to see improved, at least one thing that they want to see improved in the process. And number two, as you might already guess, something that they like that's going on, okay? Uh, we, we've tried that the last couple of staff meetings. Uh, the first one, honestly, didn't really go very far because I think they thought I was just kidding <laughs> when I told them the, the time before. Uh, now they know I'm serious. Just got out of the staff meeting and every single person had at least one thing to say uh, that they thought that we could improve upon had at least one thing to say um, that uh, that they liked uh, that was happening. One positive, one negative. Not necessarily negative. Just you know, here's here's uh, here's a struggle that I see. Here's a challenge that I see. Here's something I think we can do a little bit better on. Okay, that's the tip. That's the encouragement. Have everybody come to your staff meeting again. If it's just you and your spouse, great. Hey, honey come to our staff meeting and I want you to bring at least one thing that we're doing right and one thing that we can improve upon. I think it will change the way that you hold your staff meetings and I think it'll change the way that you do business as a real estate appraiser. Speaking of changing the way you do business, folks, have you heard? I had the all-star team, I had the dream team, I now have, I'm so excited, the Appraisal Academy, Appraiser Academy. Uh, you can join us uh, every month. We have an online meeting 
uh, where we meet together as appraisers to, uh, to talk about these very things, how to improve your business and get into really the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritty about how to improve their business. For less than a third of the price of one appraisal per month, folks, I guarantee you're going to make more back and then some being a part of the Appraiser Academy. Check them out right now online, theappraisercoach.com slash memberships, theappraisercoach.com slash memberships. Thanks for joining us and we'll catch you next time, folks.